Hey guys, remember poor Floyd? Yeah, well, time to get back to work. I think we have to make some anti-javelin point defense over here. So let's go see what this thing looks like. We're back on the asteroids. I'm not seeing any temples, apart from these weird things that we're on. I mean, this looks like an ancient temple to me. Unfortunately, we don't get hurt by falling. Okay, what do we got? Oops. Well, actually, do we have any new blocks? Mm, no, I don't see any. Okay. Go see what this is all about. Looks like a big gun. So, three blocks on the bottom, two in the back, three up front. Oh, what's going on over here? Something crashed. Or blew up. Nope, I don't want to run it. I want to click that. Come on, let me click that. Yes! Yes! It's walking! Yes! Doesn't look yes. like it. Now, time to get out of What is that? Oh no. They're here. They came back. God damn it! I'm hit. I'm spinning. I, I can't stabilize. I've got a crash. Oh. <laughs> well, that was bad. All right, so we get two, uh, we get the right amount of these things once again. So we just need to go ahead and weld, let's see, the barrels. It's hard to follow what's what here. We need to weld those guys. We need to weld two of those. And we need to get four, hang on. Why are you gonna make it so far away? I don't think there's any reason to have it this far away. Two and one. Whoops. I keep holding shift like I'm going to be able to sprint, but that's not really going to work, is it? All right. So we need to weld two of these and have one come off. So, uh, like usual, a sensor on the end, welders here, and um, and to push forward. And actually, we could just uh, we don't need to push these things off here. We can just use conveyors, the last block on those guys. Uh, can't really do that here though. I'm gonna have to do a pusher kind of thing. So, sensor on the end, um, welders on top, and pushers on either side to, to take these things around. So, I will, um, I will get going on that and be back when I have it. Okay, here's our rough setup, I think. Uh, just as I said, we're gonna weld three of these together, we're gonna weld two of those together, and we're gonna weld two of those together, push them out and take one block by itself. So, let's see. And actually, we want to... We want to put that one on top. Let's see how the timing looks. Okay. I didn't really catch how the timing was on this one, but let's try, um, let's try bringing it around. Let's see. Stop that and put a conveyor there and there or should we go ahead and let's do this let's put a conveyor there a stationary block there actually maybe we better bring it forward one just to be sure stationary conveyor i don't want to stack things if i don't have to so it's going to land right there and then we need to put Let's go back over here. I think it's on the left side. Far side. Yeah. Alright. Why they got why they gotta make it so far away? I already said that, but it's a little strange. Okay. One of you. You like that and that. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, of course that keeps going, but what we want here is a pusher block. Not a pusher block, a blocker block. 
So blocker block right there. Combine with maybe a sensor right above. Could do that. How far away is that? We can throw a block on top here. Again, I've become very cognizant of our footprint score. Turn that downward and run some thingies over the top. There we go. Don't increase our footprint with that. And then we're going to need to weld it. So let's grab a couple welders like that. All right, let's see if we get what we need. Goes on top, lets it go. All right. The pusher block does push it to the left, but actually that's okay. We can pick it up here and do something with it. We actually need to rotate it, don't we? Okay, so we could just pick it, no. Pick it up right here, bring it out, rotate it. Right? Is that gonna get it in the right spot? No, that doesn't get it in the right spot yet. We need to rotate it again. Hang on, let's see which way did it end up. Okay, that did not end up the way I wanted it to. What if we turn that, grab that, put it there. There we go. Okay, that's that's uh, the way we want it to be. And then, can there be another rotate block there? No, there's no way. That's not going to work. That's going to want to do something else to it. So we'd have to put a rotator right here. Okay, try it again. Right, okay. Now it's facing the right way. Let's pause it. Barrel needs to get rotated, so where can we do that? We could do that right here, I think. Yeah, let's leave it up high. So one more conveyor, one more conveyor out, the rotator block, and let's see what happens with that. Okay properly rotated. It is in the wrong position, of course. But, um, okay. So, if we put conveyor there, that'll bring it forward, right? Right. Now, this guy, that looks far enough out to rotate it. How does it face? All right, that way. Well, no, stop. One of these. One of those. Is that? Yes. Okay, good. Pause it. Okay, so these are now in the right shape. I think we're going to need to take this forward, though. Because we're going to need to bring these up. And actually, so we don't really, those are all rotated the right way. This will end up rotated the right way. Right there, right? Oh, I wanted to step advance it, but that didn't work. But in any case, this can't be here because it's gonna be in front of our objects coming off. So we don't want that. So we want to bring this forward, rotate it, have these pieces come in and get welded to it. All right, let us uh, let me see how we do that, and I'll be back in a little bit. These are obviously going to have to go up now, so I'm going to have to make that happen soon. Um, we'll figure that out in just a bit, I guess. All right, see ya. So now that I look at it, I realize that the barrel and the back of the gun have to be welded together first, and then we need to weld that. So actually, what I'm thinking is, rather than rotating them now, we should probably save some blocks, just weld them together end to end, weld this thing together, weld them together going this way, and then rotate it on the way there. We've got plenty of room before we get there to make this happen, so let me revise all of this to make that happen.
All right, let's see what we got now. So we got the the back of the barrel, the front of the barrel get welded, come out. Get they get shifted onto this platform. So the back of the barrel there, the front of the barrel there. They get welded together. When the front of the barrel comes in here, it activates that sensor, which pushes that pusher block or blocker block, pulls it back in and um, lets the thing slide forward. Of course, it then reactivates because this is on the last position over here. I could put it right here. Would that be worth doing? I'd still need a support mechanism here. I don't know. It might save on block score. We could do that. That way I don't think the pusher block would activate. I'm not entirely sure though. Let's, let's try it and see. So if we put the sensor... Yeah, actually we'll save a fair bit because we won't have to use any conduit. Increases our block score. Now I think it'll fall though. Let's see if that works. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it'll fall. <laughs> the whole thing will fall. There we go. Let's try that. Fast forward. Oh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Because that's there. Okay. It's fine if that lays on the ground. Oh, come on. That lays on the ground. It does get pushed. Okay, but it gets pushed to there, and that's fine. I just want to put a support under it. So let's try running this one more time. There we go. Okay, so we get a barrel and we get a, a base. So now we need to rotate the barrel. And actually, we don't want to rotate the barrel. We just want to slip the barrel over on top. It needs to come up by one block, though. So we are going to need a pusher block. Now, uh, a lifter block. Now, the lifter block <clears throat> will lift it five. We don't need it to lift it five. We just need it to lift it a little bit. So what we should be doing with this thing at this point is we can go ahead and bring it over. Oh, no, R does not do what we need it to do. Someday I will learn that. And I've forgotten to use my middle mouse button. So we want to bring it right here. Sorry about that, guys. I just can't get the just can't get the hang of it. Wait a minute. Let's see how this comes out because I'm confused now. We might need to rotate that once. Yeah, we do need to rotate that. Okay, pause. This thing needs to rotate. Uh, rotate clockwise and then we need to put this on top of it we could do it counterclockwise but then we're gonna have to rotate the whole thing like twice rather than just once so we rotate this clockwise once and then we rotate once we've got it welded together we rotate the whole thing clockwise again that should get it if we rotate it clockwise once we're gonna have to slip it in place Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try that. Let me try that. I'm going to rotate it, then try to slip it in place and get this thing to come on top of it with a welder on this side to weld the gun to the base. All right, back in a sec. Oh my gosh, guys, it's like playing Tetris over here, trying to get the barrel to go over here, levitate up, not get caught on anything, and still fall into the right place. <laughs> it's a bit nutty. Um, yeah, so um, this is what's happening. Fast forward, comes the barrel forward, moves into place, gets levitated up, pushed over, dropped onto that conveyor, and welded on. So now we have it. Um, I think probably the easiest way to make this thing go forward is to put a, um, a conveyor here, pusher block here, and a sensor here. And that gets it going forward. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. And you know, I may just do the rest of this on camera. I'm at like 14, 15 minutes and uh, I don't think we're going to get two puzzles in and there's only one until our review anyway. So let's just 
let's just stay on camera here. I've been building a lot of this off camera because you guys have already seen sort of the processes that go in. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, I'm not showing you anything new. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. And it's even almost lined up. So now all we have to do is get it over there and levitate it up. Now, I will make a point. Um, well, actually, no. I was going to make the point that whenever you're transporting something over long distances, you can really save on block and footprint score by having the long edge of it um, along the, the, the direction of transport. That way you can skip conveyor belts. But we have sort of the longest edge of this assembled component uh, already that way. It would also be a really cool thing if there were a way, like if there were detector blocks such that you could have multiple kinds of items on the same conveyor belt. That would be pretty cool because then you'd be able to then you'd be able to um, you know like bring the gun and this piece over there separately but yeah we can't really can't really do that okay let's make the turn here and I think that'll get it might not but that's okay and then we need to go up one what are these stairs like one block for two so one two we just need to get it up two blocks so let's try that We'll just build a conveyor straight out from here. Like that. And then we're going to want to build a tower here. One, two, three, four, five. It's three tall, and we've got two extra, right? That's how tall it is on the conveyor belt. It comes onto here, it's going to get levitated up to here. So we need one more block to hang things on. And then this is where our pusher slash uh, whatever is going to be. So we do a sensor that way. We do a pusher block that way. It should push it onto the conveyor belt. I have no idea if it's going to work. It may not. Something may be misaligned. But let's try it. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, it's not aligned that way until we get to the turn block, okay? Good point. Okay, turns, proceeds down the L, um, that thing, and it hits that. Of course it hits that. <laughs> okay, so instead we need to build it over here. Uh, let me point at the ground there, and, uh, no, don't run. Okay, here's where we need to build it from. That is absolutely fine. We can bring that back. I believe that should get it, but let's try. Actually, before we do that, just in case we already have it, let's go ahead and get rid of uh, some of these blocks. Whoops, not that one. I'm trying to remember to use my middle mouse button here. That should be okay, and then also there. Oh, okay, that won't work. Uh, but we can just support it with platforms. Still saves us on footprint, and doesn't count against our block score. So here comes our piece, it's rotated properly, it levitates up, and it's still levitated. Yes, indeed, okay. So let's do that and that. Let's make this a levitator. That should push it out onto that, lift it. Now, problem is this is too far back now, so I hate to do this again, but we're gonna we're gonna have to. Okay. So sensor pusher. And we need a block underneath it. Okay, fine. Go. See our gun coming. Right? Push and still over the block. Forward one more with this? 
I'm a little confused. Before we go and rebuild the whole thing, let's just try it this way. In fact, I might just take that footprint score hit and not care about it. That's not going to work. That's not going to fast forward, or it's not going to go forward enough, is it? No, it's not. Bloody hell. We need to double push it, is what we need to do. How can we do this? It's hitting that, right? Well, uh, for one thing, it can go higher, I guess. Comes all the way onto here, it's going to push it up. We really do need to double push it. How can that happen? Hmm. Interesting. Well, we could limit the height to which we push it to the absolute limit right there. That should limit how far it gets pushed. Okay. And this is taking forever just to work out the little kinks on it. Let's try. This is what I do off camera. Okay, that gets it to the height. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> I gotta remember to press the T key, man. Alright, fast forward and try to hit the T key when that gets stopped. Okay. All right, so it drifts up to here. If we had a sensor right here on this end and the pusher right there, I don't think it would get caught on anything and it would push it just one more forward. But that's all we need it to, to, to go forward if we put another block here to prevent it from rising further. Okay, let's try that block there to prevent it from rising further. Sensor block there to detect it. A conduit in here and these blocks will, I hope, magically continue to float. And then a pusher right here to push it forward. Now? Is that good? It's forwarding. No, it is not in the right spot. So, okay, well, we can should be able to fix that fairly easily. I hope. I should have known that. There's only one way that can sit on anything. Could probably save a ton of blocks here. Okay, there we go. Hopefully nothing's going to break down the line here. Looks like it's going pretty good. Yeah, it did. Cycles are fine. Footprint is below average, or better than average, I guess. And block score is a little bit worse than average. Yeah, we have a lot of blocks in there. Oh well. I'm not going to try to improve that score right now. We will go back and do some of these puzzles, and I'll show you guys if I've been able to make any improvements in any of them. Let's go to our performance review. No chicken dinner? <laughs> I'm squishing your head. Intercourse magazine? Coziest... <laughs> Hold on. Intercourse magazine. Coziest cabins for quietus. The country's best places to cuddle up. Santa came down my chimney and other readers' stories. Three is a crowd pleaser. Getting the best out of good times. Hottest XXXmas toys. I can't read the first one. Well, I'm sure that will make our cell much nicer. Okay. And we did get fed, though. All right, let's see what puzzles are in, in the uh, next in the next set. And um, we'll maybe take a look at this first one even. Meat product type 57. Relaxant formula 13. Terrestrial drone. That, well, we already did that, didn't we? Meet product type 101, an aerial combat shuttle, and then we get our performance review. Let's go look at meat product type 57 and see what the heck that is. Okay. Do we have a log here anywhere? Not on the right. Whoa, wow, that's dizzying. 
What is this? We're on a forest planet? Looks like. I'm not seeing a failure log. Okay, what are we what are we delivering to what? We got a machine here of some sort. That does something. What are you gonna do? We don't know what it's gonna do, but presumably it will package something for us. Meat of some sort. Where do we get meat from? What is this whack-a-mole? What are you guys? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, now I'm my curiosity is is peaked here. What what do we what do we do with these guys? How do we get them out of there? Like a pusher block or something? Or block them from getting back in their hole? I'm very curious how this contraption would work. What do you do? Do you trigger a sensor? Okay. But then he just walks around? How are we supposed to get him? Oh my god, what are these? They're like chicken monkeys or something. Chicken monkeys. Look at these. Hey, they're pushing me. Okay, I foresee much trouble trying to herd these cats. So I'll see you guys next time around for this rather interesting puzzle <laughs> okay enough of that oh my goodness all right it's gonna be a noisy machine i tell you that let's see you guys next time around thanks for joining me for infinifactory take it easy